Hiya peoples, this is Lost Pinky, and welcome to another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we are fortunate enough to bring you details on the newest ship to be added to the game, the ISS Jellyfish, a G4 class explorer. The first thing I noticed is that the base T1 strength is equal to that of a T7 Burrell, or about a T4 USS Enterprise. Currently, the ship is only available through the events and can only be built by level 39 players. It's a blue rare G4 ship, which requires 120 blueprints to start building. As this is the first G4 ship, it's likely the progression of new ships in the game will also signal new updates for the level 40 plus systems. Woohoo! The resources required to build this ship are 5,000 common gas, 3,000 common ore, 16 million tritanium, and 800,000 dilithium. This is a lot easier to get than trying to go beyond tier 7 in one of the tier 3 rare ships such as the Varel or Intrepid. The build time, uh, without speed ups, is also mind blowing at 35 and 3 quarter days. The second thing I noticed about the ship is how nice the model looks. It's a pity the game mechanics don't allow for full 3D rendering during normal gameplay, such as the exit from Space Dock animation, as the ship looks awesome. Moving on to the tier 1 upgrade costs. Starting with the cargo bay, you'll need 420 common G4 ore, yep, G4, 780 common G4 gas, 1740 G4 explorer parts, 28.5 million tritanium, and 1 million dilithium. This takes the cargo from 36,000 to 43,000 when reaching Mark II, with protected cargo going from 625 to 725. Next are the warp engines. To reach Mark II, you'll need 970 G4 common ore, 1800 G4 common gas, 4000 G4 explorer parts, 65.5 million Tritanium and 2.3 million Dilithium. The base warp speed of the ship is 7.3 and the base warp range is 60, which means this ship can easily navigate all pre-dark space systems with Cadet Scotty on board without an upgrade. Now we have the shields, which is a major part of the Explorer class defense and going to Mark II in the ISS Jellyfish will cost you 970 G4 common ore, 1800 G4 common gas, 4000 G4 explorer parts, 65.5 million tritanium, and 2.3 million dilithium, just like the warp engines. The impulse engines are a little bit cheaper, requiring 885 G4 common ore, 1645 common gas G4, 3,660 G4 Explorer parts, 59.8 million Tritanium, and 2.1 million Dilithium. Strangely, they don't seem to add much to the ship stats, which could be a new bug, or it could be intentional at this level. The ship also sports one Red Matter Torpedo, which is the kinetic weapon, and that will cost you 1,690 G4 Common Ore, 3,130 common G4 gas, 6,960 G4 explorer parts, 140 million tritanium, and 2 million dilithium. Going from Mark 1 to Mark 2 increases your attack power by 2%. Here we can see the stat changes for min max damage, armor shield piercing, and accuracy. And here we have the stats for crit damage and weapon charge times. Next, the ship has two phaser cannon energy weapons. Each will add 2% to the ship's attack power, and they both individually will cost you 1264 G4 common ore, 2345 G4 common gas, 5220 G4 explorer parts, 85.5 million tritanium, and 1.5 million dollar and here we can see the stat changes for min-max damage, armor shield piercing. And here we have the stats for the crit damage and weapon charge times. Finally for the components, 
This ship also has Tritanium Armor, which is a first for the Explorer class. This will set back 970 G4 Common Ore, 1800 G4 Common Gas, 4000 G4 Explorer Parts, 65.5 million Tritanium, and 2.3 million Dilithium, just like the warp engines and shields. The ship's ability is Imperial Might, and it appears to be an increasing stacking damage multiplier. The way I read it, during combat, for every round, the ships gain an additional 9% damage output. Then the first round you get 19% on base stats, the second round you get 19% on the combined total of 19% plus on base stats, then on the third round you get 19% on the combined total of the second round, and, and so on. This looks like it will be a great entry level G4 ship for now, until Digit release the next couple of G4s. Hopefully these ships will improve the game mechanics for base rating since the changes last week. Thanks for watching and comment your thoughts below. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell icon, oh, otherwise you might miss these videos when they're posted. Catch us later.